Morning campers. Well, if you have been following us, you're going to realize that I'm not setting in the same place as I typically set because we have upgraded. We have went from a 2018 Cougar 29 BHS to a 2020 Cougar 29 BHS. It has a lot of new features and we will cover them with the neat stuff and that's you know me with the neat stuff old camper is loretta i figured loretta was a good old girl and so new camper is going to be loretta 2-0 i need to say you're going to see a lot of old loretta because we've got two-week trip back east. We've got three or four more weekend excursions in her. So you're going to see a lot of it. But as these openings and closings, like I typically do, as I kind of put them together, I'll be sitting here and you're going to see the different interior. So I thought it would be best to tell you. So today we want to talk about planning the trip. I honestly almost enjoy planning them sometimes more than actually going because you've got all that expectation about where to go what you know what we're going to see and i mean and believe me the mind can do a lot better than sometimes my eyes and the actual going there so and i try to plan it well in advance i must say at the beginning of this there won't be any talk about boondocking we have never done boondocking so far the very first thing, you have to pick a destination. And my destinations, they may come from my bucket list. They may come from my memories that I had as a kid growing up uh, camping. They could come from watching other fellow travelers on YouTube. And they don't just have to have one destination. You could have a series depending on what time you're allowing to use. After we've got our destination, it's time to go to the maps. And I utilize a lot of my apps on my iPhone, which these are just a few of them. But one of the first things is taking one of the map apps, start to figure out some distances, try to figure out a plan, where to drive, which directions, how I'm, which way I'm going to attack it. Then it's time to go to the campgrounds. Returning to the apps, I usually use park advisors to take a look at what campgrounds are in the, in the area. It tells me the mileage from where you're setting right then, and it gives you some ratings. I will also use the Good Sam's app, which again, it shows you the campgrounds in the area. It tells you the amenities, and it gives you some overall ratings of them. I also use it's the KOA and the Allstays app. Now it's time to set reservations, and I like to set them up on a spreadsheet. And I like to try to make it so I don't drive more than 400 miles a day. A spreadsheet's also a good way to keep track of all your information. I like to put down in the corner my Tra trailer license number, and I like to laminate them so that it's very handy to keep along, keep with you. One thing really good about the spreadsheet is you get to double check and see how well you planned. On our Washington Nashville trip, I plan to go about 3,000 miles and plan to use about 300 gallons of gas, which would have cost me around $900. In reality, I went over my get my miles by about a 142 and I went over my gas by about $62. Wasn't too bad for a first time planning. Also, if you're planning to trip to a very popular spot, middle of the summer, when everybody else is going there, you better have a reservation. So if you do this, you're going to kind of have to put yourself on a schedule, which I know that's tough. Because you kind of like to be flexible. You like to be able to stay longer at this place or that place. But Now take your trip in the fall or in the off seasons. A lot better luck. 
then you can usually find really great spots with just a call that specific evening. So this is just going to be a couple methods on how to plan a trip. Well, a wise man once said, it's not always the destination, it's the journey. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next week. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. Put the comments down below. Subscribe and you'll make me happy.